I think it's important before discussing anything about the rapture that uh, you first understand, number one, the discussion of the rapture, when it's going to occur, is absolutely no reason to divide. Uh, we, we are united in Jesus. Uh, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. And the rapture is such a uh, minor topic that there is absolutely no reason for there to be division in the body over it. Number one. Number two. In order to be raptured, to be caught up into the clouds when Jesus comes, whenever that might be, you must be born again. The only way to be born again is to repent of your sins and the trust and the finished work of Jesus on the cross through his sinless life, his virgin birth, his sinless life, his death, burial, resurrection from the grave, understanding that he is God, he's the only living God, and there is only salva salvation is only in him. For there is no other name under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved. Jesus, again, is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. So, any videos posted on here with regards to the rapture, I want this to be out there. Read this, for, listen to this first. Do not divide over it. Let's discuss it in-house. We can talk about it. Um, I think it's a great, I, I love talking about eschatology. I love hearing different viewpoints um, that vary from mine. And I like to see here how people come up with those uh, viewpoints based on what they read in the scripture. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Um, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face toward you and give you his shalom. Till next time, Christ sure reigns. He reigns supreme. Take, what? Take care. Be well. And God bless.